You are such a loser. I can't believe you. Leon, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with me? It's more what's wrong with you. You gave that money to a homeless guy. Are you kidding? Yeah, and what about it? Well, you should have given that money to me instead of that homeless idiot. So you'd rather give your money to a homeless man than your own friend? Jeez, look at this guy. See? And now you're embarrassing me in front of all these people. You're the one who's acting like a spoiled brat. I'm just helping someone who's in need. Yeah, well, I need you to be my friend. I want to get out of here. All these people are looking at me. Hey, you know what I just realized? We always just hang out at my house. Yeah, and? I mean, it makes sense. My house is, like, huge. But I haven't been to your place in so long. I forgot how small it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm glad you got that big, fancy house. Are we gonna go play video games or not? What, with this ancient system? Did archaeologists find this? I doubt this even turns on. All right, man. Why have you been picking on me lately? You've been such a jerk. I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't been a jerk. Yes, you have. Lately, all you've been acting like is just a spoiled brat. Have I? I really haven't noticed. Chris, I'm sorry, man. All right. What do you want to do? I mean, I thought we were just going to hang out and play video games today. Yeah, but the more I thought about it, we should just go to the mall instead. Well, I'll be honest, dude. I don't really have money to go to the mall. Well, whatever. I'm starting to feel claustrophobic in this super small room in this super small house. Can we just go to the mall, please? Ugh. All right. Whatever, dude. Let's go. Awesome. Maybe we can get you a game system that dinosaurs didn't play. Ah, it's so much better. I can finally breathe now. I hate to say it, Chris, but your house does smell kind of funky. Well, that's not true. You know what? I'm not even gonna get into it. All right, well, I need to hit up every store in here. I need like five new outfits and new hats. And while you do that, I'm gonna go check out the arcade. Actually, this sounds like a good way to start. Can I join you? Yeah, if you wanna come join, absolutely, dude. Awesome. Hey, all you poor, pathetic losers, get out of the arcade. Uh, Leon, what are you doing? Well, Chris, I'm buying this place and no one else is allowed in it. Dude, what's going on here? Do you own this arcade? Yeah, I do. And you're causing a scene. Well, not anymore. Here. Whoa, what is all of this? It's the money for your arcade. I'm buying it. This is mine now. So you work for me. Get back to work. Leon, what are you doing, dude? You can't just act this way. Chris, you don't understand because mm, you don't have a lot of it. But with money, you can do whatever you want. Okay? Tell these kids to get out of here. Uh, yeah, sure thing. All right, everyone out. Everyone out. <laughs> See, that's how this works. Isn't this awesome? No, dude, it's not awesome. You just kicked out everyone else that was having an awesome time here. Yeah, but now we have the arcade to ourselves. And this stupid idiot to do whatever we want. Hey, employee. Uh, yes, sir. What are you doing just standing around here? I want free game tokens and I want them now. Look, Leon, I'm glad you're having a ball here, but I think I want to get out of here. Fine, not a problem. I'll be back later and I better get some game tokens. I want to stop in here for a second. Come on. <sighs> All right, fine. Hey, dudes. Welcome to the shop. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah. First off, when you speak to me, don't make eye contact with me. And while you're asking if I need anything, there is something I need. An energy drink. Because I'm going to need it to go through all this trash you have in the store. Hey, look, man. I'm really sorry about my friend. He doesn't mean any of that stuff. Look, little dude. Your friend is unbearable. And I'm going to end up kicking him out if he keeps acting this way. Okay, don't kick him out. I'll just buy something. Will that make you happy? Sure thing, dude. But you keep apologizing for his actions. You're just as bad as he is. I don't even know why you bother being nice to people like that. You don't understand why I'm nice to people? Dude, are you okay? Listen, it's his job to make sure that I'm happy, the customer. And if he doesn't like his job, then maybe he should quit. That's awful, dude. People aren't just your servants. These are people. <sighs> Hang on. I gotta take this. Hello? Yo, dude, it's Pierce. What's up? Oh, hey, man. I'm not too much. I'm just hanging with Leon at the mall. Uh, dope. You guys want to meet me down at the cafe? I might need some help with the homework. I'm having, like, a hard time with it. Oh, dude, of course. I got your back. Chris, I just don't understand, man. What is a radius and how do I find it? All right, well, look at your homework. The first thing is that you're doing what's called Ugh, diameter. Where is that That's waiter? This service is so slow. Uh, I don't know, dude. Maybe he's just busy helping someone else. Wait, Chris, what were you saying? Half the circle. That's what I was saying. And then Ugh, this service is stupid. This conversation is stupid. I'm getting sick of this. Yo, dude, chill out, okay? If I don't pass this class, my mom and dad are going to be so mad at me. Ugh, but I'm bored. I want to do something fun. Why don't we go test drive Lamborghinis or something? Look, dude, no one's stopping you from going to test drive some Lamborghinis. We got to stay here. <sighs> Whatever. I'm so sick of my friends being pathetic nerds. I'm going to go have fun. You'll know where to find me. Dude, that test was so hard. I think I failed for sure. Uh, come on now. I'm sure you did better than you think. I wonder how Leon did. Bro, he wasn't even in class. You didn't notice? What? No. <laughs> 
What's up, nerds? <laughs> Are you two done playing school now? Whoa, dude, what's with the car? I told you I was test driving Lamborghinis, but they are so boring, so I got this. So let me get this straight. You decided to go buy a sports car instead of come to class and do our tests? Actually, I was <clears throat> super sick, and I couldn't go to school today. What I want right now is burgers, and I want my two best friends to join me. So are you in or not? Nah, dude, I had like three burgers at lunch today. I'm all set. Fine. Pierce, you're a loser, and you're out. Chris? Yeah, I guess I got nothing going on. Sure. Awesome. Obviously, I'll drive. Wait, you know what I just realized? Chris, this is the first time you're ever going to be in a car that's not older than you. See, dude, I told you, it just hugs the road. All right, dude, I gotta say, this car is pretty sweet. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Your turn's over. Just stop. All right, I'm driving it again, since it is my car. All right, no problem. Hey, can I talk to you about something, though? Yeah, what? Look, it's about the way you've been acting lately. Ugh, not this again. No, just hear me out, man. You're one of my best friends. You're not acting like the guy that I came to know. Lately, every time we go out, you're acting like you own the place and that these people are just there to serve you and cater to your every little whim. I don't understand. Is this about the arcade again? I gave the guy money. I bought the place, okay? Right, and that's great that you gave them money, but it's not about that. It's about the way you treat people. Just giving someone money doesn't mean that you own them. It's my money, and I can spend it however I want to. So you really don't see how you treat people? No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm bored of this conversation, though. We need to go. I'm gonna be late. Late? What are you gonna be late for? Just shut up and get in the car. Let's go. All right, I don't think anybody's here yet. Perfect. All right, we're here. You still haven't explained what's going on. Well, while you were busy at school all day learning, I got the Game Station 6, and I invited everyone over to play. Did you say the 6? How'd you even get your hands on that? Uh, my dad, duh. I told him I wanted the most exclusive gaming system ever, and that's what he got me. So are you going to come inside or what? I need to make sure we order sushi before everyone gets here. Whoa, dude, this game is sick. Dude, these graphics are insane. I feel like I could just touch the game through the screen. What? What are you guys talking about? This thing is laggy. These graphics... Graphics? It looks like it was made three years ago. Oh, no, dude. It's not that bad. Shut up, Pierce. Dad! Dad! Hey, boys. How's it going? Dad, it's not going good, okay? This stupid TV is lagging out. Well, what? You want a brand new TV, too? Yeah, I would like a brand new TV, Dad. That's what I'm trying to say. All right, listen. I'll order one online. It'll be here tomorrow. Tomorrow? No, that's not gonna work. Bro, it's not that serious. The game's running perfectly fine. You're used to playing old systems on poor TVs, Chris, okay? You don't know what you're talking about. I get what I want, and I want a new TV, and I want it now. Uh, dude, you're acting like a baby. And you're acting like an idiot. You know what? I think I'm just gonna leave. No, you're not gonna leave, Pierce. You're gonna sit down, and you're gonna shut up, okay? While my dad goes to the store right now and buys us a brand new TV. Pierce, wait. Come on, man. We're having fun. Let's not let him sour our mood, okay? All I'm trying to say is I was having fun until Leon decided to lose it. And now I'm not having fun anymore, and I want to go home. Listen, Pierce, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean to act like that. That is what people say, right? Yeah, Leon. People apologize when they're being jerks. Listen, while my dad goes and buys this new TV, why don't we just go hang out by the pool instead, okay? Yeah, I guess that's fine. Um, Pierce, what do you think you're doing? Uh, just hanging out, playing with this torpedo. Well, that's my torpedo. Yeah, and this is your pool, too. You know, I'm not that dumb. Well, it's mine, and I want it, so... Yeah. Oh, hey! Dude, that was not cool. What? I just pushed you in a pool. Relax, Pierce. No, you're acting like a brat. Guys, just stop arguing, all right? He's the one that pushed me in the pool. You know what? No, I've had enough of this. Leon, you need to grow up. You've just been acting like such a jerk. You've been so selfish and irritating. I can't stand being around you anymore. Um, excuse me? What are you saying? Yeah, Chris, you tell him. I'm gonna get a towel since my clothes are soaking wet. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I thought it was funny. But look how upset you made him. Yeah, whatever. No, dude, it's not whatever. And if you keep acting this way, you're not gonna have any friends left. You're gonna be all on your own. Ugh. I'm gonna go check on Pierce and make sure he's all right. And honestly, I think I'm gonna head home too. I hope you remember what we talked about today. Ugh, great. Now Pierce isn't responding to my text. Dude, grow up and get over it. Stop being lame. Where is Chris? He's not responding to me either. Am I really just a jerk like they said? Or are they just jealous of me? You know what? That's it. They are jealous of me. They just want what I have. And that's why they treat me that way. <laughs> well, I'll show them tomorrow at school. I'll give them something to be jealous about.
Oh, look at the two of you eating pizza. Isn't this fun? Yeah, obviously. This is the best meal of the week. Better than those mystery meat sandwiches we get. Ugh. Yeah, I don't really know what it's like to eat poor people food. Is this actually good? What? What are you talking about? You've never had pizza? Yeah, of course I've had pizza. Flown in from Italy. Not this trash. Poor peasants eat this food. You know what, dude? I'm so sick of this. Sick of eating poor people food? You should be, Pierce. No, I'm sick of you judging people and being mean and stupid. You know what? Pierce, I just think you're jealous of me. That's all it is. I'm jealous of you? Are you serious right now? Chris, if you want to be friends with this guy, that's fine. But we're not friends anymore, Leon. I'm done. Well, good. I don't want to be friends with the fake rich people anyways. Bye, poor loser. Bye. Oh, brother. You know what? He's going to regret saying that to me. I'm going to make sure of it. Ugh, Leon is such a jerk. Where do you think you're going? I'm just walking to class, Wes. Not anymore. Oh, hey, what did you do that for? Because I told him to. You think you can just get away with being super jealous of my awesome, incredible life? What? Dude, I'm not jealous of you at all. Yeah, you are. Admit it. Your life sucks, and you wish you were me. I want you to actually say it. No, I'm not saying that. Well, if you don't, I'll just make sure Wes makes your life miserable. How does that sound? This is a joke. Dude, whatever. I'm going to class. Hey, let me go. Oh, hey. No dice, small fry. You're not going anywhere. You heard him. Just take it easy, okay? We don't need to be so rough on him. Hey, I'm just giving you what you paid for. You gave me 100 bucks, you get the premium service. Full beat down and everything. Dude, you seriously paid him to just beat me up? You're ridiculous, man. Hey, hey, hey. All right, listen. Let's just all calm down, okay? We don't need anybody to get in trouble. I just wanted to hear you say that you were jealous of me so you could admit it. Well, I'm not jealous of you. You better leave me alone. I said I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Got it? You don't want to be friends with me anymore? Fine. But don't tell anybody about this. Here, take some money. I know you need it. Ugh, he is unbelievable. Hey, Dad, was Leon always such a bad friend? What What do you mean? Well, I mean, you watched us hang out when we were younger. He's just been acting terrible lately. Oh, you mean like a complete spoiled brat? Yeah, exactly. Never really crossed my mind, but he acted out lately and some dude said that I was just as guilty for making excuses for him. Chris, you're my son and I love you, but I have to admit your best friend is nothing but a spoiled brat. Even when you were little kids, he always had to be in charge. He always had to have the best toys, the biggest parties. I really don't know why you enjoy hanging out with him so much. Huh, I guess I never really thought about it. I guess it's just because whenever he's not acting like a spoiled brat, he's actually a really fun guy to be with. Honestly, I never really liked Leon coming over the house or you hanging out with him. I was worried all that spoiledness was going to rub off on you. Dang, I mean, I get it. I'm just surprised you didn't say anything sooner. I'm just glad you didn't turn out to be like him, you know? But if you're asking me if I like your friend, the answer is no, I don't. Attention students, could I please have Leon to the principal's office? Leon, report to the principal's office. That is all. What? You didn't go to the principal's office? Oh, what did you do? Ah, Leon, please, we need to talk. What am I even doing here? I was having lunch. Yeah, this is more important. We're here to talk about you being expelled. What, me? No, I can't be expelled. But you are, and your parents are already aware. They're on their way to pick you up shortly. You've gotta be kidding me, you called my parents? What kind of dumb principal are you? You're gonna expel me? Fine, I don't wanna go to this dumb school anymore anyways. Yeah, 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 that's great to hear. Now, please, get out of my office. I hope you enjoy your minimum wage job, you loser. Pierce, you ratted out on me, didn't you? Dude, you hired someone to beat me up. That's really low, of course I told the principal. Leon, you did what? No, I didn't, I don't know what he's talking about. I am telling the truth, dude. He did. He hired Wes to beat me up. Whatever. You deserved it anyways. But now, thanks to you, I'm expelled. <sighs> I'm out of here. I don't need this stupid school filled with these stupid losers anyways. Yeah, I can't believe you actually paid for somebody to beat up Pierce. Yeah, I did. And he knows exactly why I did it. If you want to know, just go ask him. He's a stupid snake. Leon! <sighs> Well, there's my son, the hooligan. Dad, I don't want to talk about it, okay? Oh, well, we're gonna talk about it, mister. Using my hard-earned money to pay someone to beat up another student? Are you insane? And now you're expelled. You know that means you're not gonna graduate, right? It doesn't matter if I graduate anyways, Dad. I can just get a job at your company. Oh, 
no, you're not. What? I'm not going to hire you if you don't finish school. Are you kidding? But I'm your son. Yeah, and your work ethic is terrible. Your grades are miserable. And how can I trust you to run a multi-million dollar company if this is what you're doing? Uh, you don't get it. You're just as stupid as everyone else. What did you just say to me? I said you're stupid. And you're not listening to me. You never listen to my side. Leon, you're my son and I love you. But the way you're acting is incredibly stupid. Seriously thinking I'd give you a job at the company acting like this. You never never give me what I want. You treat me just like everyone else. Leon, where are you going? Attention students, will Pierce and Chris please report to the principal's office? That's Pierce and Chris. Thank you. Wait a second, dude. That sounded just like Leon. I mean, I guess it did, but how is it even possible? We just saw him leave. Well, I guess we better go figure this out, right? Yeah, but let's be careful. Well, 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 if it isn't idiot one and idiot two. Dude, I told you it was him. Leon, how is this possible? What are you even doing here? Well, I came in and decided to buy the school, so it's mine now. You did what? Yeah, that stupid principal basically begged me to give him the money. <laughs> something about him not paying his mortgage or something, I don't know. So you just decided to buy the whole school? Yeah, I was sick and tired of being in school, so I decided to run it myself. Now, first things first, Pierce, you're expelled. What? For being a two-faced backstabber and getting on my bad side. You can't just do that, dude. Well, you were the one that got me expelled, so I think it's only fair. Leon, you're the only one to blame for getting expelled, not Pierce. Once again, I have to just drill it into your head, Chris. I can do whatever I want. Pierce, get out of here. I can't believe this. This is going to ruin my life. <laughs> wow, seeing him cry like that was really pathetic. Nice, Leon. You've really done it this time, haven't you? Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't it? No, dude, it's not awesome. You failed your way out of school. How do you think you're going to handle running a whole school? What? You're just going to throw your money at it? Yeah, that's exactly what I'll do. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. And in fact, I'm sick of you constantly clinging to my coattails. If you don't get out of my office right now, I'll expel you too. How does that sound? You cannot expel me. I haven't done a single thing wrong. And that's where you are wrong. You're being an awful friend. I'm being an awful friend? I'm the one being threatened by a so-called friend. And now, I'm the only friend you got. So if you expel me, you'll be right on your own. After Leon bought the school and he put himself in charge, everything changed. Teachers resisted, but Leon threatened to ruin their lives and to take away their paychecks. It seemed as though Leon was out to make everyone's lives miserable, and that's what he was doing. And remember, work smarter, not harder. Because working hard is stupid, and if you want a new phone, don't do chores and save for it. Throw a tantrum and make sure your parents buy it for you. This has been your daily advice from your incredible principal. Uh, all right, that's it. I can't stand it anymore. Guys, you tell me, do you want to keep learning to be this spoiled, ignorant brat like Leon? Is he really someone we have to look up to? Well, Leon is really cool. Yeah, and he's really rich. I want to be rich. Hey, boss. We might have a bit of a problem on our hands. Kind of problem? I'm extremely busy, okay? I'm running a school. Yeah. Well, it looks like there's someone who has some disagreements with your teaching style. Really? Well, Wes, here's the thing. I pay you to deal with this stuff. So deal with it. Right away, boss. I haven't seen you in weeks, man. How are you holding up? Yeah, well, my parents put me in private school now. It's actually really cool, but I have had a lot of schoolwork. You should get your parents to bring you to this school, too. Honestly, that doesn't sound like such a bad idea, but I still gotta at least try to get through to Leon. What's the point, dude? You're not gonna get through to him. Yeah, but he's my friend. I'm at least gonna try. Oh. Wes, now's not the time. Get out of my way, man. I'm not going nowhere. You know, I got a little message from Leon for you. And what's that? A knuckle sandwich, courtesy of yours truly. Stop! 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 <laughs> What a loser. Hey, boss, it's me. I did just what you asked me to do. Great. Yeah, but you see, I think this time I'm gonna need double. Double? You've gotta be kidding me. Yeah, well, that loser's face left some bruises on my knuckles. I gotta pay for that somehow. Certainly some rich kid like you can afford it, right? <sighs> Fine. I'll send you double. Ugh, what have I done? Did I make the right choice? Oh, my head hurts. Man, what even happened? I'll go downstairs. Yo, dude, you're finally awake. Pierce, what are you doing here? Well, I found you knocked out on the sidewalk, so I called your dad. We've been extremely worried about you, Chris. What happened to you? It's just Leon. He's up to his same old tricks. Leon did this to you? Well, not directly. Look, guys, I I'm fine. You know what? If anything, I need to go stop him. Dude, I don't think there's any stopping Leon. He's on an insane power trip. Seriously, Chris, I don't want you anywhere near that kid. Yeah, you guys are right. Maybe I won't be able to stop him. I haven't been able to up to this point, but I know the one person who can. Look, sir, I'm really gonna need your help. 
I didn't know who else to turn to. You're really the only person I could think that could help me stop Leon. Well, I'm actually pretty proud of my son and his proactive nature. Buying the school and everything. <laughs> now that is a bold boss move. But I have to admit, he's probably not the best person to be a principal. You gotta understand, he's expelling kids left and right. And what he's teaching in school, it's just gonna ruin these kids' lives. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Chris. I know you and my son have been friends for a long, long time. Hey, would some money make you feel better? Makes Leon feel better. No, sir. I I appreciate it, but I'm all right. Now I see where Leon gets it from. Look, don't worry, okay? I'll talk to my son. I'll set him straight. Everything will be fine. Don't you worry. Now enjoy the rest of your day, Chris. Make sure to tell your dad I said hello. Well, I just hope you can get through to him. Best of luck, sir. So this is the place, huh? Thought my son would have at least bought in a newer school. Uh, Dad, what are you doing here? And what is he doing here, too? Well, your friend told me he's worried about you, so I figured I'd come down and talk to you. What do you think you're doing? Well, Dad, you told me that I couldn't work for your company because I was failing school. I figured I might as well just buy it. Once again, it's just you throwing your money at your problems and hoping it'll fix it, which it hasn't. Shut up, Chris. You don't know anything. Hey, don't talk to your friend like that. Listen, I have half a mind to take this school away from you. Dad, you can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. I've heard you're doing an awful job as the principal here. Very disappointed. Dad, no, you can't. This is my school. I bought it with my money and I want it. Hey, hey, Leon, calm down, all right? Listen, came here with a business proposal for you. Business proposal? Yes. You can have your job at the company again, okay? As long as you stop being a nuisance and a crazy, awful principal. And maybe sell the school back to whoever owned it before. Really? I can have that job back? Oh, that's awesome. Uh, no, this is not awesome. What did he even learn? Pierce is still expelled. Half the school is still learning to be spoiled. Royal brats because of him. So what? Leon just gets a big old pat on the back for saying I'm sorry? Well, he learned that his father is an incredibly savvy businessman and he can close any deal. Yeah, plus you're just jealous. Look, man, I feel like you've learned absolutely nothing from this situation. I'm over all of this and if you're just not going to grow up, we're not friends anymore. I don't want to see you again. Come on, Dad. Why don't we go into town? I'm in the mood for some lobster and a fancy dinner. Well, all right, son. Come on, let's go. Listen, Leon, I've got to tell you the truth, okay? I'm starting to feel guilty. Guilty that you had to be in the presence of that poor loser? I know. I'm so sorry, Dad. No, absolutely not. And quit talking like that. I lied to you about the job. I'm not giving it to you. What? Are you serious? Yeah, I just told you that so you'd give up your job as the principal. Chris has been right the whole time. You have been out of control and you need to learn some responsibility. Now I'm going to sign you up for a job so you can learn the hard value of a dollar. A job? Are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. And now you're going to be a janitor at your school. What? A janitor at my school? No. No way. That's so beneath me. That's so off-brand. Son, you don't even have a brand. All right, enough. So you're going to make me a janitor. You're going to make me a poor loser like everyone else. I'm going to teach you how to value the money that you get and maybe teach you some respect. Ugh, I hate you. You're so stupid. Leon, calm down. Where are you going? Oh, dude, I can't believe it. We won that dungeon raid. Now I've got some legendary loot. <laughs> That's really sweet, dude. Yeah, and I talked to my dad. He's going to re-enroll me at school. It's going to be awesome. Things are going to get back to normal. Yeah, I guess so. What is wrong with you, man? I figured you'd be excited. It, it's just Leon, dude. You know, we were friends since kindergarten. Like, how do you just let go of a friendship like that? It's pretty easy, dude. He's the one that threw it away first, remember? No, and you're right, but it doesn't change the fact that I miss him. Got someone at the door? I'm gonna go see who that is. Hello? Oh, hey, Mr. Barkley. What are you doing here? Chris, we have a bit of an issue. Is everything all right? What do you mean? No, everything's not all right. Leon hasn't come home in days. We've had an argument, and I just haven't seen him since. Have you seen him anywhere? No, I haven't seen him at all. I'm really sorry. What's going on? I don't know. He won't answer any of my phone calls, my texts. I've gone to all three of our vacation homes. He's nowhere to be found. I've got to go find him. Uh, if you see him, make sure you tell him I'm looking for him, okay? Yeah, uh, of course. It'll be the first thing. Thank you, Chris. I appreciate it. Please let me know. Leon! Leon, are you around here? Please come home! Yo, that was Leon's dad. He's missing? <laughs> Good riddance. What? You don't mean that. Yeah, I do. Leon gets exactly what he deserves. Oh, no, I still feel bad. Especially after seeing his dad like that. 
we both know that Leon can't take care of himself. I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna go look for him. Why don't you get out of my face, dude? Okay, this is my arcade. You're my employee. You're supposed to do whatever I say. Now leave me alone. Hey man, listen, you bought the arcade and you're in charge, okay? That's really cool, but you can't just live here. Why not? It's my arcade. I can do whatever I want. Yeah, but you've been sleeping in the middle of the floor and eating nothing but candy from the prize counter and screaming at the customers. Yeah, because they won't get out of my way. Uh, yeah, so the customers are not happy. I pay your salary. So you need to be listening to me. Uh, yeah, actually, you haven't paid anybody in days. And everybody's quit besides me. So what are you going to do? Are you going to quit too? Uh, yeah, exactly. Good luck. No, wait, please. Please come back. I need someone to help me. Please. <laughs> Stupid spoiled brat. No one's going to help you. Oh, no. This is so dumb. So now am I supposed to run this arcade by myself? I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, you won't be running anything. You haven't been paying your lease, sir. Ugh, and who do you think you are? I am actually the manager of this mall, and you are behind on your payments. This arcade is closed, and I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the premises. What? No! Oh, but yes! And you better get a move on before security gets here. Ugh, you can't do this! You have any idea who I am? Oh, I'm well aware of who you are, and it's about time someone taught you a lesson. Now get lost, kid! No! Oh, this is so dumb. What am I gonna do now? Hey, welcome to the cafe. What can I get you? Hey, yeah, listen, can I get something to eat, please? Even if it's just like a slice of bread or maybe some frosting from a donut? Hey, wait, I remember you. You're the guy who told me my service stinks and then left here without paying for his food. Well, I wouldn't have done that if your service didn't stink, obviously. And then what are you even doing here again? Like, get lost. Please, I just need some help, okay? Like, just use a little bit of food. Yeah, and I could use a new job, buddy, but you don't see that happening. Now get out of the cafe. You're not welcome here anymore. Fine. I'm sure someone else will help me. Oh, the place is so stupid. Oh, uh, hey, Wes. Oh, just the guy I was looking for. I've been meaning to talk to you. Talk to me? About what? I think you know exactly what this is about. I'm talking about your past dues. You remember your little buddy Chris that I beat up? Where's my money? Oh, I, uh, I thought I paid you already. No, you didn't. Well, uh, come on, man. You know I'm good for it. I'm just a little light on funds at the moment, but I'll get you your money, I promise. Sorry, kid, but business is business, and I'm not waiting anymore. Why don't we go for a little ride? Uh, no, I, I'm fine. I can walk, thanks. Um, I'm just gonna walk away from you. Uh, uh, uh. Now, come on. Oh, no. Man, where is this kid? Hey, wait, is that him? Come on, I said let go of me. Shut up and get in back of the car. Wes does not look happy. Sure, Leon's a spoiled brat. I don't want to see him get hurt. Ow, oh, hey. Why did you bring me to this stupid warehouse? What am I doing here? Oh, I just brought you here so you could give me the money you owe me. I told you I don't have any money right now, Wes. Can't you get that through your thick head? Oh, but I happen to know that your family's rich. And I'm going to get my money. Dollar by dollar. Come on, you... You're really gonna beat up your friend? You paid me to beat up your friends. So what are friends for? No, Wes, please don't. Huh? Help! Help! Someone help me, please! <laughs> oh, and who's gonna help you? The friend you paid me to beat up? Or maybe the friend you got expelled? Let's face it, Leon. You got nobody. He has me, Wes. <laughs> Chris, you you came back for me. You you saved me. I'm so sorry. I was just so used to getting whatever I wanted. I didn't appreciate the friends I had the whole time. Can you please forgive me? I've been such a spoiled jerk. Yeah, I can forgive you.